So last week I bought a rather dirty used bulk lot which had lots of um, castle and related uh, parts in it and I've washed it all now. Um, washed it, I put a towel inside the bath and I spread it all out on the on the towel in the bath to absorb all of all of the water and leave it for a couple of days and um, I've been through it and this is the uh, result of the minifigures etc that uh, I found in that lot um, now this doesn't include all of the horses and things and unfortunately I'm just going through a lot of them and the prints uh, are, are no good um, basically on the majority of these there are a couple of um, black falcon torsos that don't look too bad um, so we'll do something with them and there are lots of uh, shields and uh, accessories and stuff and uh, helmets and even a um, red um, original uh, plume there and I know that um, these seem to be readily available again now uh, new but um, these were going for, for quite a bit. I did actually find a yellow one as well which I don't have here um, uh, so I will um, be putting that to some use as well. A few of these other sort of uh, old style plumes and this um, white one needs a bit more of a clean by the look of it. Um, so I'm just trying to see what I can put together with these, see if I can make something sort of, sort of half decent. Oh, we've got um, just started and I've just put um, this little guy together who's probably worth four or five pounds. Um, we've got a little fireman there as well which i'll list but he's only worth a, a pound or so but these are pretty good um the one on the right still needs a little bit of a clean but these are the uh technic um figures uh they still come under under the minifigures section but they're certainly not minifigures and these seem to be listed at around 10 pounds each um which uh, isn't bad at all and um, then we've also got, and I saw this on another vlog recently, we've got um, one of these uh, motorbikes with the clear uh, windshield here, and apparently the windshield is worth a little bit as well. So I'm going to continue sorting through these and uh, getting them uh, ready to either um, list as assembled figures um, but more likely to uh, list the parts, I would imagine. Probably put these helmets and things up uh, separately and uh, see how we do with them. So it looks like I found uh, another uh, gem, so to speak. Um, this uh, is the uh, Maiden with Necklace, <laughs> which is an amazing um, name for the minifigure um this is her there um she's sold fairly regularly there's none for sale which is great because mine will be up for sale very shortly um but um it's sold in january december november um etc and um whether people are really wanting it for this particular figure or whether they just want it for the red uh, headgear, I'm not sure. The headgear alone sells for about seven or eight pounds. The torso for another few pounds, and then um, you know the head, legs, and the um, and the cape are um, pretty standard. Um, you know, probably 40, 40 p each or something like that. Um, so I could sell it in, in parts, sell the torso and the hat separate and probably make the same kind of money, but I'm guessing that, um, because of the scarcity of the headgear, even if someone were to want it for another figure, then they're probably going to buy this anyway, um, just to get the, just to get the headgear. Now, just to show you... Uh, the only figures that this headgear comes in is uh, these three here in red. And the most expensive one is this one, which may be what people are trying to make up. So sorry if I'm jumping around a little bit, but this is the maiden with the red cone hat. 
Now, this is selling for a better price. So if I had the parts for this, I'm more likely to get, you know, a, a much better price. But I don't have any of the other parts. I don't have the head, the, the torso, um, you know. So uh, I think I'm just going to sell this as is, put it up. I may have pushed the price a little bit, maybe push it a, a pound or two because there's none of this for sale and see how we do. Monday the 14th of February and it's a much quieter uh, week than last week on uh, both Brickling and Brickhattle. Uh, just uh, what we've got seven orders on Bricklink here and um, fairly low lot counts as well so they're going to be nice and easy to pick. Then on uh, Brick Owl we've got eight um, and again, pretty low uh, lot counts on there, so not too bad uh, from a picking perspective at all. And um, on eBay, um, we've got seven items uh, ready to post. So let's go and take a look and see what those items are. Let's go and have a look at my uh, desk here. Um, still got one of them to pick uh, here, which is a brown bulldog. Um, that one's uh, going out at six ninety nine. We've got a beekeeper from Minecraft. We've got a Darth Maul uh, figure here um, from um, seven five three one O. We've got a used um, uh, woo. Uh, uh, figure from uh, Ninjago and we've got a Dumbledore with the uh, Phoenix from Harry Potter and then last but not least we've got an exosuit um, now funnily enough this is one of the first um, sets that I bought when I started getting into Lego I think the very first set that I bought was the Doctor Who ideas set so not that long ago what's that 2015 i think and um i was so impressed with the doctor who set i had a look to see what other ideas sets had been out and um the exo suit was uh, one of those and um never ever got around to, to building it um and i heard it's a bit of a flimsy build um but of course Uniquely, it's got the green spacemen, um, which are pretty cool. So anyway, that's going to be getting packed up and uh, shipped out today along with the other eBay orders. And then I'm going to get on to Bricklink and Brick Owl. Here's an interesting little order going out, uh, mostly uh, green parts. Um, but the fact that they've got all of this green and then they've got a whole bunch of red seats uh, makes me wonder whether... They aren't creating some kind of sporting thing. And the fact also that they've got a president business golfer, maybe they're creating some kind of golfing mock or possibly a football stadium. They've got some doors there as well. But um, I'm always interested to know what people are building. And, um, it, you know, one of the things is as a seller, I, I just wish I could see the mocks that people create. And... That happens occasionally, but it's it's the rarity rather than the norm. And um, if, I, as I always say, if anyone's ever watching and they see their order, it'd be great if you comment on um, in the video just to see what it is you're actually making. Well, this I think is probably the biggest order of the day. This is 643 items in I think 36 lots. And it's just about every type of um, arch that uh, I've got in the store in uh, white, light bluish, grey, black, etc. And these are all going off to South Korea, um, which is a little unusual just in the size and weight of the package. Um, normally most things I'm, I'm sending off to Korea, uh, for instance, and I just sent uh, one this morning, uh, uh, was less than 100 grams, and most things usually are. This is going to be well over a kilo um, to send. So, um, yeah, this will be going out the door today. I'm doing something a little bit different here, which is I am building 
the Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. And I've had this for a while and been wondering what to do with it. And um, I fancied a bit of a sort of, I don't know, a more relaxed morning, shall we say. And um, I uh, th just thought I'd build this and probably going to photograph it and get it listed on eBay. So I'm working my way through it. Um, still on book one at the moment. And so far... I have uh, built this uh, bit of track. It's actually <laughs> really long. I've never actually seen the set in the flesh before. Um, so, um, as I said, just build it. No minifigures with it. Um, minifigures are all long gone. And um, I hope it's going to be worthwhile uh, doing this. So it's a bit of an experiment. Um, I'm doing it because I was pretty much 100% sure that all of the parts are here. Both of the instruction books are here as well. So not anticipating any issues, uh, just a case of building it. Um, just wanna show it uh, built on eBay to, um, you know, give people confidence that all of the parts are there and we'll see how it does on, uh, on eBay. So I have uh, completed the uh, Temple of Doom, all built, all photographed and ready to get listed. It took a little bit longer than I'd hoped it would take. Um, took a good couple of hours to uh, get it all put together. Um, but it's good to check that everything was there and um, there were no issues with parts. Everything's all good and um, yeah, it's difficult to know what the price it at because looking at, at on eBay, of course, uh, uh, everything on there is with figures and it's selling for about £140. So I'm thinking probably about half that, given that there's some high value figures in there. But uh, not sure also whether to do it as an auction. Um, I might do that actually and just, uh, just put it as an auction and see how it goes and uh, hopefully that'll maximize what i get for it you might recall a few weeks ago i had a bag of uh, new parts that i'd been saving for a, a build and uh, that build was the haunted house and i decided that i was never going to build that so i would put the parts into my store now similarly i have uh, this bag of parts and this is for the cafe corner and you can see on there i've written new parts and these were all brand new parts that i'd taken either out of uh, my own store or bought ready to build the cafe corner now i've decided i'm going to sort through these over the next day or so as things are a little bit quiet on the order front um, but I just pulled this out and remembered that in there was this bag of um, red uh, slopes. Now, you need, I think you need 36, I believe, for the cafe corner. And there are 36 of them in this bag. And I bought these uh, new and... I remember uh, buying them actually from um, they they don't operate on on Bricklink but if any of you any of you have ever looked on YouTube but I think her name's Cora Harrington and uh, she's called something like the mini millionaire or something like that and she's really into sort of different ways of, of making money anyway um that's a bit of a tangent but um so i have 36 of these and i just went on to look at the uh average price of these and these are selling um let me just have a look in the uk because in the uk they are selling for well, just over a pound, some one pound sixty. Someone's got four listed for ten pounds. Even second hand, they're selling for about one fifty, etc. But if you look at the 
price is paid for new the average is about three pound fifty a part some going up to eight pounds now if i look down the history four sold for eight pounds each there in august now i have a full set of them so i'm just wondering how much to price these at because the the plus that i have is i literally have all of them that you need to make um the cafe corner which means that they can sell i think at a premium in one go so i'm just wondering where to list them at and do i go as crazy as eight pound each because they've clearly sold in the past if someone desperate enough to build the cafe corner um and interestingly enough and i don't know where i put it i haven't actually got this uh listed uh yeah i don't know if i can find it now i put it in here somewhere yesterday um i have to look up oh there it is it's still still got it out so see that blue arch there um that's also from the cafe corner now that is a used part that i found in the bulk tub of the bionicles of all things that i bought last week and that alone's worth about a tenner as well um so it's crazy that all these parts uh the expensive parts that i needed for the cafe corner like the blue arch like the door that i sold a few weeks ago for 20 pounds um all seem to be arriving on my doorstep but anyway um long story so i'm gonna be listing 36 of these enough to build um or use in the cafe corner not sure what price I'm, I'm gonna list them at but it's gonna be high so here's the first of the uh, castle stuff uh starting to move um nothing super expensive here or anything just some uh Weapons, some capes, some helmets, a saddle, and some flags. Um, still, you know, um, got all of the figures listed, and some of them may or may not uh, move soon. But um, good to see, as always, that, you know, as you're adding parts to the store, they're selling quickly. Now, I'm just popping in to my other Lego space, uh, which is one of the spare bedrooms that we have. And... Um, I have made a decision and that is that I'm going to part out these four sets here. This is four of 70618. It's the Ninjago uh, Destiny's Bounty. So let's just get one out. So for those of you who can't remember, this is uh, the one from the uh, Lego uh, Ninjago movie, uh, not the more recent one. And these are going on eBay for about 170-ish pounds. Um, and, you know, by the time you factor in eBay fees, shipping, uh, and all of, of the other things that go with that, then I'm thinking I might as well just part them out. The part out value is worth about 205 pounds. And I think there's something like, I don't know, 2,000 parts per set in here so that'll add over 8,000 parts to the store so um, I think it's a done deal I'm going to get these parted out and uploaded little order here for some uh, light blue grey bricks um, decent quantities uh, 50 of the 2x3s 120 of the 1x1s 30 um, arches 25 uh, angles and 70 of the tiles so um, probably going into you know pretty reasonable size mock I know a lot of people have been asking for orders to be going out uh, pretty quickly uh, so that they can complete mocks and things for various shows that are coming up not sure if that's the case for this particular order but um, a decent order nonetheless um, although not super expensive been fairly quiet the last few days to be honest um probably just 10 to 15 orders a day um not huge uh values uh but i've been pretty busy with um getting the um destiny bounty 
sets parted out so lots of of cups laid around here all ready to go away we've still got four bags to uh, get parted out this morning and then i'll start getting this lot away uh, in the meantime i've been parting out uh, or breaking down rather all of the bionicle stuff that i got recently so just breaking that down to the component part and i've had a couple of nice uh, surprise finds in there like the uh, arch from the um cafe corner which is a dark blue arch worth about five or six quid found another door uh for the cafe corner like the one i sold the other week for 20 pounds so um you know those things have been nice little finds and uh, yesterday i was sorting out some of my classic space stuff um which i've got laying around as well so keeping busy uh, lots of things to do as always and uh yeah looking forward to getting some of this space cleared once um we finish the part out and i can get this all uploaded to the store should add about eight thousand parts or more to the store which will be nice uh because we're a little bit depleted with all the orders that we've had over the last uh month or so and we've not been buying a lot of new stuff so this would be nice to get some uh new stuff into the store as well as all of the used parts that have been adding recently here's an order going off to switzerland uh lots of parts in good quantities um over 100 um two by four black plates here tons of these uh reddish brown uh headlight bricks um, lots of uh, uh, one by twos in dark tan, tan, green, and lots of various plates and things. And rather nicely, 22 um, brick separators as well. Um, so a decent order, and uh, this will be going out today. So I'm just going through some uh, last minute bonus orders, um, last minute Friday afternoon orders, and um, here we've got the horse out of the Lone Ranger set that I said I was going to part out um, probably, I can't remember if that was this this week or, or last week, but um, I listed this at £10, which was a decent price compared to others, I think, and um, it sold. And it sold in combination with the cat that came out of the uh, classic TV Batman series set that I parted out a, a week or so ago as well. And that went for 250 So, uh, nice little animal related order. Mm -hmm. 